So you're in a museum looking at a Picasso. You've heard the name a million times. You know the influence. You know he's one of the most important artists of the 20th century. You know he invented cubism. You know he had phases. The blue period. The rose period. Neoclassicism. Surrealism. But the painting you're looking at, the one in front of you, you've never seen it before. It's called Night Fishing at Antibes, or Antibes. You don't really know. You don't speak French. The little car next to it doesn't say much, but you want to know more about it. How? The way I see it, you can look at any Picasso in five different ways. In night fishing, for example, what you see is two spear fishermen hunting for fish from a small boat. In this respect, it's worth it to ask who these people could possibly represent. These two women likely represent Picasso's wife, Olga, and a combination of his mistresses, Maria Therese Walter and Dora Mar, who was with Picasso in Montee. And finally, the spearing fisherman can be read as Picasso himself, or perhaps the version of himself that he wants to be, headstrong, looking forward at his goals, undaunted by distraction. There's more you can read into this painting than the rest of Picasso's work. Picasso's legacy looms so large that the scholarship on him is vast and often contradictory. So my feeling is, why not decide the significance of his work for yourself? In July of 1901, a 19-year-old Pablo Picasso took the art world by storm with a dramatic exhibition at the Galerie Bollard in Paris that launched his career and paved the way for him to become one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. It is this dynamic transitional year of Picasso's career that is the subject of a new exhibit at the Courtauld Gallery, Becoming Picasso. The show was a great success, and critics were astonished that such a young and relatively unknown artist was capable of such assured work. It was with the creation of these works and those which followed, Dr. Wright argues, that Picasso began to find his voice as an artist. It was during this year that Picasso began signing his work for the first time. He also painted a bold self-portrait, declaring, You're Picasso, I Picasso. By the end of 1901, Picasso, barely 20, had begun to establish himself and develop a style that would lead to his becoming one of the leading figures in 20th century art. one of the most influential artists of the 20th century as he is known for co-founding the Cubist movement, the invention of constructed sculpture, the co-invention of collage, and for the wide variety of styles that he helped develop and explore. Exceptionally prolific throughout the course of his long life, Picasso achieved universal renown and immense fortune for his revolutionary artistic accomplishments, and became one of the best-known figures of 20th century art. Pablo Picasso died on the 8th of April of 1973 in France, while he and his wife, Jacqueline, entertained friends for dinner.